Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and I wanted to talk about my law film and its conductivity because I've been testing this piece of film because I actually saw some reports that my law film is not shielding as effectively as foil and I got curious as to why that was and this is one of the tests that I put together to understand that so We've got a 9 volt battery right here, the positive is connected onto the foil surface, this is the conductive surface that is up, and we have the negative of the battery connected to the negative of our probe, and we're on volts DC, and we're going to use the positive probe to see what's going on on the foil. Now I'm going to first touch it to the positive of the battery. So as you can see our battery has 9.48 volts on it. So we should have the same on the foil, and indeed we have a very similar voltage on the foil. But the interesting thing is, the further you get away from the connection, the more that voltage drops on the foil. And you can see it right here. So over here, I only have one volt. I'm only a few inches away, now it's gone back up to nine. If I go further over here, you can see it's less than a volt. So it appears that mylar film is not as conductive as foil. In fact, it's not a very good conductor at all. And this is sold as first aid space blankets to keep people warm in emergencies. It's not actually sold as an electromagnetic shielding material. So if you don't have any electromagnetic shielding specifications for your mylar film and you've just bought space blankets for first aid use which is what these are then you shouldn't trust them for electromagnetic shielding purposes so i'm quite sure there are types of mylar film that are actually sold specifically for electromagnetic shielding and they may be okay but certainly this first aid blanket is not very conductive at all and it's very erratic and the only conductivity that I get is actually near to where the connection is made to the conductive surface and the further away you get from it the less conductive it appears to get so just be careful with mylar film it's uh, an interesting material to play around with but it certainly this sheet it doesn't appear to be very conductive at all and I certainly wouldn't rely on it for being the same as foil. And certainly my tests are indicating that foil is much better than mylar film. And if you're going to do electromagnetic shielding, I would advise you to stick with the foil and not use first aid blankets. That was the purpose of this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the best of health. Thank you.